all about rhythm. Squat. Big breath in. He's been given the squat signal from Magnus Fair. Uh, first one. Good news. Squat. Thumbs up for Magnus. He looks strong. Oh, a little rhythm there, but even a bounce. Well, he's using that bounce, isn't he? And he's finding his rhythm up to five reps already. Nothing against that in the rules, Danny. Can be a little dangerous, though. He gets soft at the bottom. Could be a one-way ticket down. Goodness me, nine reps. This is tremendous. Smoke Stellis. <laughs> well, he managed ten. What else has he got in the tank? WSM finalist last year, of course. Oof. Well, that was it. The tank was empty. But what a drive. Ten reps, Ten reps for the Latvian. Oh, Smoke status when he shouts in the background there. I wanted two more. Ten I more, I think he said. Did he say ten? Oh, that's greedy. That was good, though. That was really good. The Latvian, he's such a tough man. Great Britain, Gavin Bilton. Well, talk about the classic strongman look. You mentioned it earlier when he used to have his moustache. All he needs is a, a stripy top for this. And he could be our new logo. Let's go. Well, when you weigh north of 400 pounds, it makes 700 pounds perhaps feel just not quite so big. Well, he's got to be careful. Last year in the squat lift, you might remember he popped a rib. Yes, great memory, Danny. And uh, it was very painful. He's looking a little shaky after three. Big breath in, great drive there. Dropping into it now, he's got the depth. He's got the groove. How many more of these can he hit, though? Yeah, he's really learned from last year, hasn't he? Because last year, when he popped that rib, oh. And he said he was going too fast this year, took it slow and steady. But it's really taken it out of him. Do you know what? He also led forward last year, and that is just death in this event. That barbell doesn't, the weights don't rotate on the ends, they're all welded together. And uh, if that happens, it'll roll forward towards your neck, and that's, uh, well, it's good night. But that's put last year's nightmare to bed. Well, talking about putting things to bed, Travis Altmaier, I mean, he has had a terrible ten years, some struggles and difficulties, and he's out here to show that you can turn things around. Whatever life throws at you. Uh, so before his addiction problems, ten years ago he was doing this very event. He got injured at World's Strongest Man, and we haven't seen him since, Danny. What? I wonder what's uh, going through his brain right now. Uh, look pretty good, you know. Number two, he's getting a rhythm on here. He certainly is. With that breath in. Ooh! Right, well... He'll be frustrated with that. Squirted him out. But do you know what? The fact he's here should delight him. I think he's, he certainly reacted a lot differently than he used to. He'd have been <laughs> screaming and shouting. He has a look of gratitude still on his face. Go for it, Travis. Well, the squad are wonderfully determined, Brian Shaw. Now five years removed from his last title, of course. Still seeking that elusive fifth, Colin. Yes, the equal Pudzianowski. Marius Pudzianowski, the only man to have done five. He's equal with the likes of Magnus Ver Magnuson, the head ref, who's <laughs> right there, right of screen. And John Paul Sigmundson, of course. Brian Shaw, that fifth, would equal him with Pudzianowski. And for me, he becomes the greatest of all time, or strongest of all time. The SOAT, if you like. <laughs> you should copyright that. But look at this very well disciplined start from Brian Shaw. Yeah, very slow indeed, very deliberate. It uh, tends to be the way with Brian these days. He's very cerebral in everything he does. Will he get into a faster rhythm, though, before he starts to tire? And if you remember the final of 2017, he, he used to have a time limit on this. He was still squatting at 60 seconds and ran out of time. I've never seen anyone squat for 60 seconds before, but Brian did. And, uh, ooh, there's number nine. We've got rid of that time limit now, and he's about to equal Smaug Stellis. Well, he's done that. A little nod to himself. Now, the mental coach that he's been working with, ah, I, was, I thought he had more in him. He was starting to look a little shaky in the core. This is so deliberate. 
I think if he'd have gone aggressive, he could have done 13 or 14, but he went safe. Although we've got Maxime Boudreau to go, he's certainly equal first at the moment. Maxime Boudreau! So we'll move on then to Maxime Boudreau, the leader after one event. And that's quite the gauntlet to have thrown down from both Brian Shaw and Schmork Stellis. And just a little reminder that the SPD World's Strongest Man continues on Thursdays on CBS Sports Network. Do check your local listings, don't not do that. And the finals right back here, September 5th on CBS. Now, Maxime last year managed seven reps. Exactly this weight, same apparatus, everything. And of course, uh, a bit of blood started coming out of his nose. It's not uncommon in squat, there's so much pressure. In fact, those uh, funky orange shorts uh, add to the pressure around the hips. Bleeding nose is uh, often the result, Danny. But hopefully the result is big squats Good as leg. well. Right Good. now he's on five. Two away from his uh, effort last year. Well, now I can't stop looking at the funky orange shorts, Colin, but no, but Drow, he's down. I'm good, he says. Yeah, that's a little disappointing, though. Six revs, he did seven last year. The only one to advance and progress the next year. He goes down. It was a one-way ticket, I'm afraid, on the last rep, but that was his last good one. Group one with ten reps. Ivar Smokestellis and Brian Well, there's your co-winners. Smokestellis and Brian Shaw. Ten reps each.